Bionic Gloves presents the Hands-On Golf Podcast, bringing anatomy and hand function to the forefront of glove design to improve comfort, fit, and performance. Bionic is a division of Hilrick and Bradsby Company, makers of Louisville Slugger bats and ball gloves. Bionic gloves are the only gloves designed by a leading orthopedic hand surgeon, Dr. Jim Kleinert. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Bonnie Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. My name is Chaz Ra and I'm here with Eric Gilliland at the Audubon Country Club in Louisville, Kentucky. So let's get right into this week's email and it comes in from Patrick from Western Kentucky. He says, do you have any tips or drills to help with those simple short putts that we all sometimes miss when we are in a hurry to get off the green? Eric? Patrick, that is very true. Uh, anytime you're rushed in your short game, you're not likely to, to execute very well. So I'll give you a couple of ideas as to how to how to fix that problem. Great. Well, we're going to be doing that in just a moment. But first, I just want to let you know, Patrick, that just for your participation, that's right, you get a free bionic glove. Now, if you'd like to participate in this as well, it's real easy. Just send me an email, um, podcast at bionicgloves.com. Make sure you have the question and your name, full name, full mailing address, whether you're right or left-handed, and um, what size you wear and if you do all that and we use the question we will be more than happy to send you a glove it's that easy please leave your feedback on itunes and youtube and please keep comments coming to us as well it's very much appreciated and thank you for subscribing tell all your buddies about the the golf podcast as well as we want to continue doing this for you as um it's a great thing and remember if you're getting a gift for someone remember it's always good to give a bonnet glove as a gift see make sure you do that now now let's go join eric on the course to see how we can help become better short Short putters, is that the way to say it? That's it. All right, on the green here at Audubon Country Club. Patrick, here we are with a short putt like you were describing. And uh, what I've found to be the major flaw with short putters is when they get a little anxious, their eyes tend to follow the ball. So what I'm gonna demonstrate here is keeping my eyes over the golf ball and even where the ball was as the ball leaves the putter face. I'm gonna listen for the ball to hit the cup. I should always hear the ball go into the cup on short putts, never see the ball go in, and that guarantees that I've kept my eyes where they should be. That'll be a big key to you making these short putts. And next I'm gonna show you a drill that'll help you out with that. Patrick, here we are with that drill that I mentioned, and I'm gonna start out with one of the shortest putts there is. It's just a one foot putt, just to get a feel for what we were talking about. The goal here is to make all these short putts doing exactly what we just discussed. Keeping my eyes over the ball, with the ball going in the hole every time. And you think, well golly, this is pretty simple, Eric. Yes, it is. But the next part of the trick here is that after I make all these, I move to two feet. So it gets you the idea of, or the feel of the ball going in the cup, the sound of the ball going in the cup, and then you stretch it out a little more and a little more. Eventually you'll be up to five and six feet before you start missing some putts. When that happens, you go back to the shorter ones. So make sure you're keeping your eyes over the ball as you do that drill and you'll make a lot more short putts. Thanks for the question, Patrick. For more information, contact your PGA professional.